Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Chop Chop with me, Martins Martin. I am currently having a serious cold and a slight fever, so my voice might be a little bit off. If you notice that, then that's the reason why, okay? As you might notice, the chests have turned into gifts. And this is because it is currently the 25th of December, which is the day after Christmas Eve. And this is when, in Minecraft Java Edition, all the chests turn to presents. I love it! So, in the last episode, we built this. And then I teased you guys that I want to make uh, a building around here that uh, I've taken inspiration from uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I've created a design now in my test world, which I'm quite happy with. Uh, only thing is, we are lacking so many blocks for this build. So, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go on an adventure, okay? We are going to seek out those blocks. We're gonna need cactus. We need cactus for dye, which means I would like to find a desert today. Also, we're gonna need a terracotta, so I would also like to find a badlands. Uh, somewhere around here. So I'm thinking we're gonna go on an adventure now and we are going to go That way is that west facing west. Yes, we're gonna go that way Look at this guys Just around the corner from where we live. We live on top of that hill basically. Yeah, that's a tree growing area um, We have all these nice allium flowers. I love those Still haven't found an ocean though we need an ocean. Um, I'm thinking about doing an industrial dri district in the ocean. Mm. <laughs> so maybe we just found an ocean now. Seems like it, right? Is that a jungle? That's a jungle. Very nice. This is... This is nice. This is a new, new type of jungle. It's not as dense as they usually are, right? Okay, let's go up here. Well, I'm gonna get me some of these. Hello, friend. I will uh, take this from you. Thank you. Well, hello there. I see bamboo. Ooh. Thank you. <gasps> oh, turtle! I know you're special, but uh, yeah, I have nothing to do for you right now. Hmm. Ooh, shipwreck. Well, if this. If I ever saw a useless shipwreck, this is it. Oh, <laughs> is this? Is this for real? I think it is. I think. Ooh, we have found a mesa or badlands or whatever you want to call it. I want to call it mesa. 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 Oh, yes, we have cactus, we have terracotta, we have everything we need here. This is perfect, guys. So let's just... Thank you. Oh, this is nice. Okay, 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 okay. Let's grab some terracotta and uh, some cactus. And then maybe we can just head on home again. Okay guys, I have gathered up a lot of stuff now, or at least enough stuff. We have some terracotta here, we have some bamboo, we got some cactus as well. So I think we are gonna head home again, and we're gonna take the coordinates of this place and we're gonna set up a nether tunnel to this place so we can come here for easy mining of terracotta and sand in the future. 
I will see you back home at the base, okay? Alrighty, alrighty, alright. Welcome back, welcome home. We are back again from our little adventure. And on my way home, I found a treasure map. I found a treasure map. So uh, I, I didn't find a treasure map. I found a sunken shipwreck that actually had some treasure in it. And what it contained was a treasure map. That's basically it. And then the treasure, I found it and we got a heart of the sea. So we can make one of those uh, breathe under, under the water thingies. Can't remember the name. Culprit? No. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. And some diamonds. We found diamonds as well. Still no moss though, but that's fine. Okay, so I have got everything scurried away now. And what we need to do now is we really need to decide where to put our automatic farms. I mean, actually, let's do what we always do. Let's go up the mountain and take a look at where to place these farms. Well, maybe if it wasn't snowing, it would be easier to actually see where we should place this, right? Um, so we have the villager thingy over there. We have the road going up to our house over here. We're thinking, I'm thinking about getting our storage area up in this area here. So maybe, maybe here. Could be one of our farms. We could do the cactus farm here. Cactus farm goes here. That's decided. And it will be done now. Welcome back. We now have a functioning uh, cactus farm and it's actually uh, outputting a quite decent amount of cactus. It's two layers, five by five wide. Um, yeah, so this is what we have so far from just building up the farm. So that's pretty decent. Um, I started decorating it and what I want to do is probably uh, redecorate a lot of it, but yeah, I'm gonna do big white stained glass panes here or glass windows uh, so we need more sand and we are fresh out of sand check this out this is what we have that's not gonna be enough and we don't have a desert anywhere nearby so if I want sand right now I have to go down into the rivers and dig it out from the bottom of the rivers and I'm not gonna do that so what I think I'm gonna do now is actually I'm gonna start moving nether portals and make a nether tunnel over to the desert and mesa biome that we found. Um, and from there we will connect to, to, to the connection of the connecting stuff. Yes, yes, makes perfect sense, right? Okay, so <laughs> uh, yeah, I love this about Minecraft, you know. I want to make a cactus farm. I run out of glass to put in the in the windows of the cactus farm, so I need sand. But in order to get sand, I need to move a nether portal and dig a tunnel uh, halfway across the world and get some sand. So let me move some portals, let me dig a tunnel, and I will see you guys in a jiffy. Welcome back, guys. I am done with the exterior of the cactus farm. And admittedly, it's not the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I'm not even sure I'm gonna keep it like this. But to, you know what? I'm gonna keep it for now. It does the job. It has a glass ceiling to let all the daylight through to keep the cactus from, from growing. To keep them growing is what I'm trying to say. Um, Project Breath of the Wild. We need some more stuff done over there. And I realized something when I was checking this out the other day. Uh... This little guy in here, he's not giving the carrots to, to the guys over there. He's just throwing them on the ground for waste. Probably because he can't see them, so yeah. But yeah, that's the thing. Uh, they, so I have to feed them manually, which I just did. That's why they are now making a baby. 
There we go. There's the baby. So what I want to do now, um, I want to build a collection system underneath here that picks up all of the uh, carrots so they don't go to waste. So that we then can feed them to the villagers. Uh, and to make that happen, we need a lot of rails. And to make a lot of rails, we need a lot of iron. Which we don't have. Let me show you. Let's see. Here. This is it. 54 iron ingots. That's all I have. Plus two blocks. Oh, and 25 more. Yeah, but you see, it's, it's a finite resource. I don't have enough of it. So, I want to make an iron farm. And I have already started to prepare. So, iron farms are quite big and quite ugly, to be honest. So I decided to put it down here, away from the rest of the village, just to be able to hide it in plain sight, and then maybe when I can come around to it, I will... I will construct something better of it. Anyway, this is what we need. The design is by Logical Geek Boy. Please check out his channel uh, channel in the comments. No, not in the comments. In the description below. Okay? Check it out. Now let's build an iron farm. Alright guys, welcome back! As you can see behind me, the iron farm is now done. And uh, I think we're ready for the hard part, which is actually to get the villagers in, because working with villagers always sucks. Sucks. But I, uh, I prepared this rail track here, or minecart track, which will send the villagers into their beds. And we have an activator rail here, basically chugging them out to the right when they uh, pass through and then they will go into the bed and hopefully stay there. Let's try and uh, send over the first villager and hope he lives. Okay, my man, you are our first test subject. Are you ready? And you are going to go flying! Now hopefully we will see him go in. There we go! Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Okay, he's actually in the hole. Oh, I hope he went to bed. <laughs> I really hope he went to bed. Let's go down and check. Yes, he's in. Then we go to bed as well. No zombies allowed. There we go. That's it. Now the next guy should fall into the next hole. Let's grab another one. I want to say I can't believe this is going so smoothly. But I also know that I just jinxed everything. <laughs> How come this is working so fine? You go on ahead. Please. Yes, I think it worked. Okie dokie. Are you guys ready again? I don't know how many we have in this thing. I might need to feed them soon. Thank you. Yes. Three out of three. Ah, <laughs> this is perfect. There you go. Dinner is served. Now, enjoy it and make a baby. Okie dokie. Time to catch a new villager. I am afraid we might get a baby now. So, yes, there's a stop there. Good. Let's see. Yes, we got a baby. So, babies, um, I don't want to send them out onto the... I don't want to send them out into the iron farm because, well, they're small. Maybe they will fall through. I won't risk that. So he's, he's going to have to grow up 
and we'll just hope we catch a bigger one with this one, okay? Small one again, of course. Okay, no babies, perfect, then there should be a adult going into this one, right? No one goes into this one, of course. Let's hope this works. No! Why? Why, 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 why? I don't get it. Why is it always like this on one of the sides? Oh, I hate villagers, I hate villagers. You're garbage, you know that, right? And what do we do with garbage? Well, nothing happened to that villager. Okay, so now they will be completely encapsuled. New try. Please work. Okie dokie. Perfect, and you stay inside! Thing is, will you stay inside when I break the glass? We'll find out after this commercial break. Fun fact, there will be no commercial break. Okay, well, here we go. Final guy, guy, final man, final guy. Perfect. Okay, so everyone is in their cell now. What I'm thinking is, it might be that they jumped out because elevation of ground. See, I think this is a little bit higher than this, meaning they think they're gonna die if they fall and they, they think we're gonna be just fine. So, before I do anything, I'm gonna try to just dig some of this out. Okay, good. I know this looks uh, anything but pretty, but I'm not really going for pretty. I'm going for villagers staying inside their holes. <laughs> Bye. No. Oh. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> and. Ugh. So right now this is actually going quite fine. Okay. All the villagers are in place. Every building block around them have been removed and nothing fucked up. Okay, so we are now up here with the zombie and we are about to activate the farm. Flicking this lever. The thing is, this is the last thing that actually can screw up because if I flick it now, we could have an iron golem spawn around here, and then... Then I guess he would kill poor Albert. So I think we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna just get rid of as much as possible of this. I guess that was it, okay. And then we're just gonna flick the lever, dig down and jump out of dodge, okay? Let's go. See? See? He actually spawned there. <laughs> okay, we need to deal with him. Professional speedrunner right there. <laughs> Not. Haha! Simultaneous spawn and death. Yeah, so right now, uh, the loot is collected in those chests. We need, of course, to get them down to the ground so we don't have to go up there every time. I'll fix that when we have some iron to fix it with. But for now, I am very happy. This farm is working. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this will do it for this episode. We have done quite a lot, actually. We went adventuring and found both the desert and the mesa biome, or badlands. And yeah, we started to kill the iron golems behind us here. And we made a cactus farm over there. You can see the roof on top of my pretty, pretty head. So we did that and uh, yeah, some other stuff. I'm quite happy. A little bit of a weird episode, a lot of stuff going on all over the place, but I'm sure it will all make sense someday. For now, thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and if you really want to build this, this iron farm, then go check out Logical Geek Boy's video on how to do it. I will link it in the description below. It is such an easy... Uh, easy video and tutorial to follow. You will succeed, I promise. So, take care now. Bye-bye then.